Are you considering moving to the Canadian province of New Brunswick? Are you stressed out about all that you will have to do in preparation for the migration? If so, you have come to the right place. I am Coco Kingy with the Cherry Blossom Real Estate at the EXP. I am a real estate agent in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Today, I am going to talk about the things you should know before you move to New Brunswick. New Brunswick is a beautiful maritime province with rivers, mountains, pine forests, and the gorgeous Bay of Fundy where travelers from around the world enjoy whale watching. I moved to New Brunswick in 2008 and it was no joke that I was so amazed how beautiful New Brunswick is. However, I was stressed out. I had to make so many adjustments. Away from friends and the family, raising a family with a completely different environment. Don't know how the New Brunswick systems work. I had so many concerns by not knowing what to do. For example, where do I need my food and medical requirements? How will you get a driver's license? How will you find an apartment? What are the first steps to take when arriving in New Brunswick? Before all else, you must handle all necessary administrative tasks to make your stay in New Brunswick stress-free. Apply for a medical care health card from the government of New Brunswick. Apply for a driver's license from the government of New Brunswick. Change all your officially listed addresses. In order to do this, start by downloading a New Brunswick address, change checklist, or accounts that needs to be cancelled. If you are migrating from outside Canada, you will also need to apply for a cell phone plan. More on that later. My driver's license in Japan wasn't transferable in New Brunswick, so I had to take a test to get the driver's license in New Brunswick again. Back then, my reading and writing of English wasn't all that good, but they accommodated for me to take an oral test instead of a writing test. How nice they are, right? How do I rent an apartment in New Brunswick? You can find apartments for rent using online platforms like Kijiji and For Rent, or contact the property management company. If you want to split the cost of the apartment and also find a companion, you can scout for some roomies via online platform Easy Roommate. Also, check to make sure that the public transportation is available in close. You might find cheap and attractive apartments outside of the city, but it's more important for them to be accessible. Once you have signed your lease, don't forget to take out the home insurance policy. Renter's insurance covers your belongings, your TV, clothes, jewelry, etc. And it is affordable. Take the time to get the home and auto insurance quotes and compare coverage and the prices available in New Brunswick. How do New Brunswick leases work? In New Brunswick, there are fixed term, month to month, year to year those are the type of leases or tenancy agreements for specific information you can refer to form 6 residential lease if you get the roommate you should get them to sign a roommate agreement form how does public transportation work in new brunswick new brunswick has a very well developed public transportation system you have option of rail ferry, bus. You can also use a local carpool service called Carpool World. Who do I subscribe to for electricity and gas in New Brunswick? Electricity. The primary electricity supplier in New Brunswick is New Brunswick Power. Natural gas. 
The most popular natural gas providers in New Brunswick are New Brunswick Energy and Utilities Board, Natural Gas Suppliers, and Enbridge Gas New Brunswick. How do I get the internet and the cell phone plan in New Brunswick? Internet. Some of the biggest internet service providers in New Brunswick are Bell Alliance and Rogers. You can compare the different internet providers near Fredericton or near Moncton cell phone carriers. The best cell phone carriers in New Brunswick are Bell, Rogers, and Telus. Compare their respectively plans and choose the one suits for you the most. How to buy a house in New Brunswick? Check my other video moving to New Brunswick. How to buy a house in New Brunswick? Where should I get the food, alcohol, and the different amenities in New Brunswick? First, food. New Brunswick is known for its seafood, oysters, and maple syrup. I love all of them. If you enjoy eating local food, you can go to an online directly of the local foods in the province at the Buy Local NB or Acorn database. You can also get the information on your local farmers markets at the New Brunswick Community Farmers Market. Alcohol. The legal drinking age in New Brunswick is 19 years old. The primary supplier of liquor in the province is ANBL. You can use their store locator to find an ANBL store near you. And this is a very important one prescription drugs. If you want to access a physician or prescription drugs, you can contact the College of Physicians and the Surgeons of New Brunswick for information. You can also find medicines in National Pharmacy brand Shoppers Drug Mart, which is available everywhere in the province. And if you are immigrant like me, we have it's called New Brunswick Multicultural Association. They are a nonprofit organization committed to support immigrants like me or you. They have an event and classes to support the newcomer to Canada. You can always contact them to get help. Of course, I'm belonging to the Multicultural Association and it feels great to get support from them when I need. It is great opportunity to connect with the peoples from the same country as you. And it is awesome to share some of the challenges and some tips with other immigrants even though we are not from the same country. Don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. I have so much more to tell you about the life and the real estate in New Brunswick. So I will see you at the next video.